In this video, I wanted to talk about why did Vikings love axes so much? I guess there's a whole lot of different reasons. Um, first and foremost, an axe in the hands of a professional warrior or someone who knows what they're doing and wants to do it is a devastating weapon. This can easily cleave human beings into several different pieces. Uh, it's, it's a great item. It's not very expensive. It would have been made from something like bog iron. This particular axe is a Type G or Mammon Axe from a place called Mammon in Denmark. But let's take a little bit more of a look at the axe. They're fairly easy to produce. Um, the haft obviously is just really a piece of wood. This is a lovely piece of oak. But there's not a whole lot of bog iron that would have been used for something like that. It's a very utilitarian piece so quite obviously, I mean if you look at the, the actual axe head itself then you can see that this is, is not so dissimilar to the sort of axe heads you would find in a modern hardware store. So not only can this be used as a combat axe, but it can be used um, for felling trees, for cutting up large pieces of meat, for fencing, for the kind of camp craft work you might expect uh, that would need to be done really every day. This is the tool of the shipwright, this is the tool of the, um, the cartwright, and the, the, the builder of houses, this is the tool of um, you know agriculture and all of that kind of thing as well as, as being an item of military equipment. So it's very easy to understand because you know, the Saxons would have had the fjord which essentially was a militia. The Vikings had their own version of a militia which was basically comprised of farmers and agricultural workers and uh, craftsmen and so on and so um, taking their tools of everyday life with them uh, is quite interesting and it was obviously a fairly sort of obvious thing to do. Now an axe is a bit of an interesting uh, item as a weapon because you do have to have some skill in its use. It has to have the correct edge alignment otherwise when you strike your target uh, the axe will simply come off to one side. You also have a much shorter blade than you would do with something like a say axe or a sword, probably even a spear. So it's important that the strike you make actually counts. There's an interesting 10th century chronicler who refers to his time spent with some Scandinavian Vikings and he says that every Viking was required to have their axe, a sword and a knife on them at all times. So an axe is obviously a very important part of the combat kind of e equipment loadout. Many axes found from the period have a leather or a wood kind of sheath that goes across the blade to protect it, to keep it nice and sharp and it's held in place with leather thongs. It's also very interesting because many of the axes found have a lot of uh, intricate uh, carvings on them and also on the handles too. And that can be um, both a functional kind of thing in terms of it um, relates to who owns the axe, but it also um, suggests that axe were, uh, axes were a ceremonial item, not purely just for combat. Now when we talk about axe combat it's really interesting because the way that most people strike with an axe is a circular motion. It comes around in a big arc or a radius 
and this is interesting but according to 13th century fight manuals it's actually not the most efficient way to do it now whilst yes you increase the amount of kinetic energy coming through the axe being delivered onto the target what is important according to these chronicles and according to the fight manuals is that your weapon hits the target in the shortest possible period of time. In other words, you won't basically want to draw a, a, a line, the shortest possible line between the weapon and the target. And so it's easy to sort of see that um, it's easy to see that the first strike may simply be um, to hit the target and to uh, deliver a blow which is going to incapacitate or essentially disrupt what your enemy is doing, what your target is doing. And then if you look at the chronicles and also the iconography of the time, you'll see that lots of the uh, illustrations show that a a warrior is using their axe against a, a target which is incapacitated. So in other words, I'm able to deliver a decisive blow to a target which is, is no longer a threat to me and I'm, essentially I'm just finishing them off with an axe. It's very different to what you see with a lot of the kind of modern day medieval reenactors and renaissance fairs and that kind of thing. Alrighty guys, so there's a bit of an insight there as to why I Vikings love the axe so much. Not just a weapon of fear and intimidation, but also a highly skilled piece of kit in the right hands. Okay there guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.